Hey everyone, this is my Patreon powered rewatch to the 12th and final episode of Restage Dream Days. And last episode, we discovered that our chances of beating Stella Martis were literally zero. Luckily though, we were able to utilize the power of Sayu's bad poems to improve our song. So hopefully that will be what makes a difference. So let's just jump into it and see how things go. So three, two, one, play. Okay. At last, the finals are here. These four idol groups have survived the turbulent beginning, however. Yes, and we are one of those groups, and so is Ratanja. Only one group from this competition can get to the national stage. Subs are at top here, so I'm, that's why I'm saying them out loud. And this is such a great little intro sequence to it here. Prism Stage. What we've all been waiting for. Tokyo Area Preliminary Finals. Everyone's got their glow sticks and we're all ready. Let's go. We're all here to watch some idols. Yeah. <laughs> Just take deep breaths. And this voice, uh, god damn it. We didn't want to talk to you right now, or ever. <laughs> Saya's always ready for a fight, though. You get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, control your song, go please. It's not gonna happen, though. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing that you joined it all. <laughs> You've done that in the first place, you know, but. As all we, we all are. We'll see. I mean, the odds are in your favor, but you never know. See, that's much more positive and friendly than what we got between Sayu and Sango. This is our dot dot dot. Just push it harder. It'll work. I'm pressing buttons and things aren't happening. It's very upsetting. <laughs> Me always wanting to help Mizuha. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would probably help. I think we've all been there, though. It'll be f oh, ow. Indeed. Yeah, she's definitely been watching you, Mizu, huh? <laughs> she wants to take responsibility. You better do it. <laughs> I know. I know how you go, how you work in me. Oh, pan holding. This is definitely what we need to do to psych ourselves up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite nice. I think she feels much better now. But we gotta go to everyone, right? Everyone needs a little bit of help. In her case, it would be cost me to help, right? Yep, there she is. The pressure is getting to her. You'd pass out, and that would make it hard to dance. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All you can do is your best, and hope for the best. 
Uh... <laughs> Still love the nickname. <laughs> I would love to watch you two, two do so. Now it's Mana and Sayu's turn, naturally. You're not the only one, Mana, I assure you. Yeah, we've made pretty good progress, you know. As long, just don't run away this time. Just keep believing that. <laughs> yeah, let's not separate. We need to be together always and forever. It's definitely weird how theirs has the least amount of skinship in it than uh, any of the other encouraging moments. Yeah, there we go, Artangia. They are ready. Please do. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, just a little head bobbing and everything. It's all so great. So cute. Literal perfection. We need more head bobbing in ours. <laughs> just, you know, in that as well. It was fantastic. I only saw about seven seconds of it, but it was great. Yes, it was very clear, even in that brief amount that we got. That's a sweet apple. It went by too quickly, but... Yeah, they don't have nervous issues at all. But, you know, why would they? They were last year's champions, so... Definitely helps your confidence a bit. And here we go, Stella Mari's turn. Let's see what... see what they got. The ultimate me. Oh wow, that was a really cool eye zoom in. <laughs> the one girl just can hardly contain herself. Yeah, we did not see much of that at all. But I'm sure it was great. Judging by the audience reaction. Indeed. And their confidence went down a bit more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't do that. Other people gotta take their turns. Yeah, I wouldn't want to follow that. And I do remember what happens after this. Like having it come out there while they're still chanting the name of the previous group, that's rough. It's just they are really unlucky with the the lottery. Uh this still pisses me off. That's really not okay. It really is. <laughs> yeah, go beat them all up, please. Uh, yeah, why stay and watch a whole thing when you can just leave? And then Sango actually does something helpful for once. <laughs> Her logic is just... Uh... <laughs> Friggin' Sango. <laughs> uh, Sai is like, how could you d dare do such a thing? I 
while shy and prouder than anyone. Yeah, the music in this bit is so good. And there we go. As long as you keep shining, things good things will happen. <laughs> just just suffocate Sangha real quick. If she passes out, no problem. <laughs> now let's show those people that they were mistaken to leave early. Yes, they are the important group. Oh, wow. Drown the volume a bit. And finally we get to see a full performance on here. They did. <laughs> I'm impressed that they're able to think about all this while also doing the performance. I don't think I can multitask like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good choreography here. <laughs> I am never ready for the freaking guns. <laughs> Yeah, the animation is very solid, even the 3D stuff. Well, yes. Wasn't that obvious? <laughs> and it's a great view. You know, both sides. Yeah, poor me. Only doing it all by herself before. But now she can do it with her friends. Yeah, that was also kind of lonely. Not as lonely as me, but... Now we're a group, so it's all good. It's definitely reached me. And there we go, let's get those sticks moving. <laughs> yes, you better take your seats back. Learn, learn from your mistake. It's a great feeling to actually get the audience back on your side. <laughs> and then here we go, the final bit. I wish I knew the lyrics well enough to actually sing along with it, but no. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure they were there. It's actually going on a little bit longer than I thought it was. Which is nice. His sister just has to be really proud. Yeah, just all the visuals and stuff on stage are just very captivating. Oh, wow. And getting dizzy with the camera. And all of the confetti. Oh, Nate, Sean, look, I have friends. This is great. Oh, no, that's not Ma Chan. That's, that's Ruka. Uh... What they do? <laughs> Even our ninja squad is here. That's great. 
Is it possible to shine even more? I'm not sure if we can handle that. Some shoulder attention. Yeah, just very good animation. And there we go. 10 out of 10, you guys should win. Just hand him the trophy. Oof. Oh, even Songo, wow. That's uh, unexpected. I bet she'll have a different attitude when interacting with us from now on. Doesn't really matter though, because the show is basically over now. Poof, and there we go. Yeah, that was a wonderful performance. I think they all can be proud of that, regardless of the results. Why well, you? Ah, the water. My cap was open, so hopefully I didn't spill any of that. <laughs> uh, those legs. I mean, we did. In a way. Uh, he'd like he just did. Cost me doing her thing. <sighs> uh, report cards. It was fun. That's what matters. Ah, <sighs> uh -huh. uh, me. Don't cry, me. Uh, yeah, if you cry, everyone else is gonna cry. It's, it's contagious. <laughs> uh... I don't think that's an ex- I don't think that's an excuse for crying, Mizuha. Uh... 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 Definitely does. Just gotta hope for a season two, you know. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. That was sad. Yes, we still had fun though, regardless. <laughs> you really couldn't. This is about as good as it gets. <laughs> wow, look at Hiragi's face. Oh! Uh, uh, hello? Yeah. <laughs> Man, how far did she run to get here? Well, there you go. Yeah, catch her before she falls. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it says, but I'm pretty sure it was positive news. <laughs> Dual summon, so yeah, that was... Oh, yeah. 
that was a thing. <laughs> because, yeah, we do need that, too, like a duel. <laughs> Come the Nago you had once. <laughs> All the leaders. <laughs> Those are some great faces. That's what it sounds like. Something like that. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My first trip to Nagoya. Yeah, we'll show them. And we'll eventually revive the teacher. <laughs> yes, you made a bit of a mistake there. But, you know, that was the important one. Key. Restage. stage Sleep learning. <laughs> well, they work that way. Uh, more poems. <laughs> uh, sure, it was great. <laughs> I love seeing Mizuha doing her happy dance. Budget increase? No. Rejected. <laughs> she seems so happy and confident walking in there, though. Yay, you rejected her. Good job. So, so mean. Noodles. Hey, those are ninjas. Is this our Battle of the Bands? Yeah. Gotta skip it past it. <laughs> Is that shrimp shitty kid? Are you serious? Oh, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, man, we they really do a lot of things in this final montage bit. Oh wow, those are some great outfits. <laughs> and of course, he got the feathers falling. And yeah, they put a lot of stuff in this. <laughs> what are you doing? Just a straight up jumping competition? I. I, I don't know. Just let them have their fun. Come on, Mizaha. 367 days. You better not. And they just run off onto that stage. The restage. One final shot of a lot of hand holding. Very fitting. Forever dream days. Whew, and that's that's the end. Okay, and that was the twelfth and final episode of Restage Dream Days. And yeah, we got our kind of big old uh, prism stage event here, and we all did, did our best. It's a little bit unfortunate that we didn't get to see much of the other performers, like it was really just uh, Kirari that we saw, which, you know, I that's the one that matters, I guess, but I would have liked to have seen at least, at least a bit more of our or, or times, yeah. But, uh, oh well, you know. Sango, of course, as usual, was just trying to pick a fight, but it didn't last too long before we just went into, we'll just, we'll battle on the stage kind of thing, you know, which they did. Of course, the sister are much more positive. And then we went through each of our individual couples, just kind of encouraging, getting ourselves pumped up for it. Because some people are a little bit nervous, a little bit worried, a little bit worried that something could go wrong. What do we do then? But luckily, you know, we're all there for each other, so we were able to, to, to 
get it together for this stage. And yeah, we had some pretty good stuff there. Some some handling, some hugging. Just nothing really physical from Sayu and Mana, unfortunately, but still nice. Yeah, we had a little bit of Ortanja, like, you know, single digit amount of seconds, I think. But you know, we saw the some of the good parts, so it's fine. But also another one I think that we didn't really know much about. They were called uh Yeah, Sweet Apple. Yeah. I mean they they come across as fairly generic, so I'm not a I'm not bothered at all by the fact that we didn't get to see their performance because it probably wouldn't have been that interesting. But yeah, Mari's still on Mari's as usual, blowing away the audience. But the worst thing about, about the episode is just that, yeah, uh, the ordering of our groups because they, you know, you have to go after them. And a lot of people in this audience were really just kind of mostly waiting for them. So once they play, a lot of them just started to leave. Which is very upsetting because that's kind of kind of hurts your feelings a little bit if you're the last one left and everyone just walks out before you get on stage. It's very hard to not take that personally, not take that as a you know you're unwanted. You're just why are you even here? You know, so that that really hurts. So luckily, Songo kind of unintentionally did a little bit of a little bit to help there. You know, it, it's it's for kind of you know selfish reasons. You know, she wants to she wants people to see them beat Kirari, you know. So, but still, it helped, you know, I think. Then we had a lot of encouraging words here. And then we had our stage performance, which actually lasted fairly long. I did like the very beginning of it, too, when they linked hands and it kind of made a star shape. I don't know why, but I really like that. And yeah, just the overall performance is really good. There's a lot of great choreography. And then getting each person's kind of internal dialogue of their feelings about, you know, their journey from where they were before to where they are now. Because pretty much all of them started off in a fairly bad spot, whether they were just struggling with becoming an idol by themselves like me, you know, then joining the group and things got better, or, you know, the Yobu Yobu, which was needed members and couldn't do much without them, and now they got them. So that's that's both of them. And Kasumi, who kind of lost interest in this whole idol thing because of a bad experience that she had before with the whole voice thing. And also Hiragi, which, you know, I mean, Hiragi is Hiragi. She, she's a part of the group, too. And, yeah, just seeing that the audience members as usual, you know, people with their me signs, people with their guns. It makes it pretty clear who they're here to support, you know. Just, yeah, a lot of great choreography, great music. A lot of enthusiasm, a lot of shining and sparkles. We definitely emphasize the importance of shining in the episode. And I'd say they did a good job of that. And then, yes, we once we got started to go rolling with the performance, everyone started to really understand that they are good. They are worth watching. Like, I'm sure you don't have anything better to do than watch these idols. So just stay in your seat and watch, please. That's all I ask. And you just have like to think of as a teacher, just with tears and rise and everything. But yeah, people definitely really enjoy their performance. Even We even got a few thoughts from various other idol groups and stuff, so... Yeah, it was great. Even some of the 3D animation was actually pretty smooth. And then the sister, of course, you know... It's not hard to imagine how she feels watching her sister shining like this on stage with her friends and chasing her dreams and all that. I can just... I can't imagine how she would feel. Like, in any kind of real concrete way. You know, because I'm not an idol, I don't have a sister, you know. That's mostly what I meant. But yeah, just confetti everywhere. And yeah, despite all their worrying, there was really no big mistakes. Like, nobody fell, nobody tripped, nobody forgot their lyrics. So, yeah, the audience didn't throw any things at them. So yeah, I'd say it was pretty, pretty positive. Unfortunately, it seems like they didn't actually, you know, win. But... Because they said the line, we didn't reach them or whatever, but I'd say they reached plenty of people, you know, the audience, I'd certainly say they reached. But we did get to a bit of kind of a, kind of a sad period here. Everyone kind of doing the respective thing, just kind of... Uh, I'm not sure what a good word for it is, just low tension, maybe, kind of feeling. Because it didn't really get sad, sad, until we actually got to the room and just started literally crying. That's when it got sad, sad. But we did get a letter which cheered everyone up. It was a duel from our ninja squad. Which, that wasn't actually what the teacher meant to show them, but 
it was important, and we clearly did it as they showed in the final montage bit, which is great, you know. I just don't want to know how far the teacher ran, because she straight up fell over. So, definitely curious about that. They still have not. I just love that running joke of them all thinking they're the leader. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Just something about me, just whenever she gets like really loud and fired up about something, it's just always just fun to watch. At this video here, like 20 minutes and 18 seconds, I think, in the video file. Which is like, this is not something to smile about. I don't know, just like whenever she just like spikes up like that, I always find it entertaining to watch. She just like <laughs> squishes out the paper and everything. You know, my first trip to Nagoya, that almost sounds like it could be the name of a game or something. <laughs> I don't know much about Nagoya, really. I'm aware of the name, but that's about it. The teacher just dead over there. <laughs> Who's internally talking about how she made a mistake, she gave them the wrong thing. And I don't think we get to see much of the paper. Let's see. I'm gonna go back to that spot. Well, she just kind of drops it. Spot for specially nominated entries newly established for this term forward. Key. Just like, yeah, shows the key. So obviously, key, Dottie. You can kind of guess the rest of it. So that's good news. So basically, yeah, they get to continue, I guess is what that means. Yeah, because it's like a special spot for them. For newly established, yeah. And then, yeah, we just had, it's interesting that this, we had this last, like, two or three minutes or so, which was, it's showing a lot of future events, you know. <laughs> she requests 200,000 yen for club budget, which is, like, almost $2,000, I think. That's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it was rejected. I did like how she walked into the room, though, just kind of the flow and dancing, kind of walking as she does. Just to be, just to have her, just to have her proposal turned down. We got to see in the montage the the battle of the bands with the ninja group who threw shrimp as Shuriken. Just why? Just why? And then Kasumi shooting them down with her airsoft gun. I, words cannot describe, cannot describe how ridiculous all that was. I loved it. Then we pet the cat. Of course those two become friends. The silver-haired girl and Hiragi. Both petting the cat together. And then we went to like a festival, you know. Some kind of festival. Wearing kimono slash yukata, which, whichever they are. They all look great. You want a little bit of a dance. And then a little bit of competing between Sango and Sayu. I guess they were doing squats or something. I, I don't know. That's a weird way to compete. <laughs> I do just like the sisters looking at each other like, you know, that's, that's what they do. It's, it's expected at this point. And then we've ended off with just going back onto the stage. Like, I assume that's like the prison stage there, right? So. Yeah, second season would be nice, but it's probably not going to happen. I doubt this show sold all that well. But yeah, it is a good show, for sure. Just, you know, there's a decent amount of idol anime out here, but I'd say this is definitely one of the better ones. Because, for one thing, the art style is great. The art style, character designs, characters themselves. Like, they're all very solid. And, like, that's the real meat of a show. Because you gotta have characters that you like and want to support. It's kind of, because that's kind of the whole idea of an idol. The whole idea of an idol anime, right, is that you have characters that are on a journey and become idols, become popular, and you're kind of like a fan of theirs in a way. Like, you're sort of their first fan of a budding new group, and you get to watch them grow and become better, better and more popular and more successful. And by the end of it, you know, they're very successful and you're proud to be a fan from the beginning. That's kind of, that's kind of the feel of watching an idol anime, I think. I think, I think that's kind of a big part of the appeal of it. So, yeah, and I think the cast of girls we had here were pretty great. You know, Mana is, of course, pretty likable. And uh, Kasumi, I like Kasumi a lot. She always pretty cool, shooting her airsoft gun. She has that beautiful long blue hair. And she, I especially loved her relationship with Hiragi. I don't know, just all of their actions were always pretty fun. The little nicknames they had for each other. The kind of mutual respect they first built up with each other when they first competed in Airsoft. Like, yeah, I like their, like their relationship a lot. And that's another big part of the show is that the relationships. We do have our idol group kind of separate into individual couples. With uh, Mizuha and me, you have Mana and Sayu, and then you have Kasumi and Hiragi. They were pretty obvious about that. 
you know, individual shipping couples there. And pretty much all three of the relationships I liked quite a bit. They all had a very cute, likable, enjoyable dynamic to them, but they were all also pretty, pretty different, right? So, because, you know, Mizuha and me, that was an interesting one because they were initially kind of enemies, sort of, because we had the Yobu Yobu trying to do our best, and then we have me with the student council just trying to crush us, like trying to sabotage us and stuff. And we were able to grow past that into her joining the group and just kind of helping Mizuha get better at being an idol. And yeah, they kind of blossomed a close relationship from that. So it was always pretty enjoyable. Like back when she was first training her and stuff, that was probably some of my favorite stuff between those two. It was just, it was great. For sure. And Mana was always the main character, so obviously there's going to be a lot to... A lot of focus on Mana and Sayu couple. And Mana, her deal, she ran away from the main school to the branch school because it just wasn't working out for her. And uh, she wasn't going to be an adult, but Sayu was able to bring her back in because. Because Sayu is amazing, you know? Because, yeah, Sayu, Sayu wanted, wanted her in the club. She joined the club. They got really close, they bonded a lot. They got to the point where they were helping each other quite a bit, and they both became better for it. And we helped each other with our respective, you know, drama, whether it be the mother thing with Sayu or the past school trauma thing with Mana. We both kind of helped each other with that issue and just became better and better and more successful at what we're trying to do. And we even had that wonderful sleepover episode, which was great, you know, the bathing together, sleeping together, just, yeah, a lot of great stuff there. So, yeah, a lot of good stuff between those two for sure, especially the Sayu mother drama episode like there was a lot of closeness there in that episode definitely one of my favorites for sure and also there's like yeah Kasumi and Hiragi which I'm not really trying to just describe that relationship exactly but you know it was enjoyable it probably had the least amount of focus on any, than any of them really but I still I still enjoyed it but yeah not sure what more there is to say about it it's just a very fun well executed cute, nice, pleasant battle anime. And just so many, yes, just so many great character designs and stuff. Just pretty much every girl I would describe as cute in this show. You know, except for maybe Songo. I still don't like Songo. But, you know. So yeah, it's always just has been nice watching the girls encourage each other and stuff. Just, yeah, very heartwarming, pleasant show to watch. And it would be nice if we could get more of it someday, but probably not. Probably not, so... I'm still pretty pretty happy with what we got. It's uh yeah. That's all I really have to say on it. So it's, it was a good show. Yeah. I hope you liked it as much as I did, or at least liked it a little, little bit. That's all that's all you can really hope for with the show, I guess, that you liked it at least a little bit. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.